am Matthew Phillips. Uh, playing the role of John. This is. I am Cheryl Texera. I am playing the role of Rachel, John's girlfriend. Yeah, is this thing on? Because I'm camera shy. I'm Elena, I'm playing Tiff. Hi, I'm Veronica Wiley, and I play the role of Jen. Matthew Stiller, uh, Mike, and character Bunny. Scott Kuza, character Jack, character Pops. Uh, I'm Denise Chavez, I'm doing the special effect makeup for this movie. My name is Andrew Chavez. I'm also assistant sound. My name is Rebecca Grace, and now I'm sitting here sticky with corn syrup, bloodied up. I think I have a contusion on my head. And I'm my good friend Pinky, or Joshua Lang. Right now we are in the cab of the bunny truck, the large massive dump truck with terrorized teams who deserve it. Stacy Civic, Key Grip Gaffer. You're the dog, man. We're gonna chain you right. I'm Craig Seidel. I'm hired on to be an AC assistant camera, and I'm assisting John Grove, who is director of photography. Carl Lindbergh is uh, director, producer, writer. He's everything. Real stressed out until he walks on the set. Look at it. Uh, Easter's over, bitch. Oh, Hello. I'm William Cespedes, Secretary of the Orange Coast College Society of Filmmakers. And in our TV studio today is Orange County Independent Filmmaker. But first, I'd like to introduce you to our film student co-hosts, Max and Richard. They're both current film majors at OCC and also students in this TV2 production class. Thanks for being here today, guys. This should be uh, fun. So let's get to know Carl Lindbergh. We just finished principal photography on his third feature film, the suspense horror, Bunny Man. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Carl? I'm an independent filmmaker living and operating out of Orange County. I shoot a lot of my films in Brea and Fullerton, and so I'm here promoting my latest film, Bunny Man. During your time spent on working on the film, Bunny Man, uh, you took on the responsibilities of producing, directing, writing, and even editing. Can you share with us the experience of having to manage all these jobs? Uh, it's not ideal. Um, basically, you need to know when to wear what hat. Um, it's, they all contradict one another. You have a producer aspect who always wants less takes. He wants to move the production forward. You know, he doesn't want to pay overtime. And you have the director wanting uh, more takes to get it right. So you're having two roles in this production that are contradict one another. And that goes as well as for the editor versus the producer, editor versus director. They all oppose one another. So it's, you have to differentiate between which role to take. Uh, can you uh, tell us a little, little bit about your filmmaking style? Uh, there are a few characteristics. Um, one, I want as small as a crew as possible, um, easier, more streamlined. You know, there's that temptation to have a lot of PAs that work there for free. You know, but it's like you know, you have to house them, you have to feed with them, you have to communicate with them. It's a whole chain of command. So simple is easy. Uh, I do shoot in, a lot in Orange County. They're more filmmaker friendly, um, more interested in the arts. LA is just more about the money what they can get out of you. So um, try to stay out of the Hollywood system and work with small crews from Orange County. Can you tell us a little bit about the story of your most recent film, Bunny Man? It's kind of, to distill it in a short little blurb, you know, it sounds cliche, a group of kids get killed one by one. Um, there is more thought put into my horror films, um, more psychological aspects. You know, we have a Bunny Man costume and it's that, that uh, contradiction of a very innocent, pure, happy thing like a bunny costume, doing very evil things, killing, raping, you know, beheading. It's just that inherent psychological contradiction. You know, you have a killer, you know, Jason or whatever, killing someone. All right, scary. You have someone like Mickey Mouse running around, killing little kids. A whole nother level. I'm curious, what was it like on the set of Bunny Man? It's controlled chaos. I mean, <laughs> every independent film is like that. Um, you have to expect every day something will go wrong. You can't plan everything. You know, one day we had a real life uh, bank robber running oh. through the set, wow. uh, followed by policemen, you know, and it's <laughs> like, uh, you can only imagine a robber, you know, you have all your plan B and contingencies running through the woods, seeing a 
giant bunny with a chainsaw screaming <laughs> at someone with, up in the tree. It's like, so you can't even begin to, you know, you can't anticipate that. Um, you just move with, go with it. Um, you know, we had bats living in the cabins and then bats. telling actors they weren't there when they were, so they'd sleep. <laughs> and inevitably, someone wakes up screaming at 2 a.m. and kind of have to go with it. Um, so just things like that, you know, you just roll with it, you keep going, but you can't plan everything. Right. Well, here you actually have a, a clip for us. Uh, can you tell us what it's about? It's a montage of about a minute long of various scenes from the movie. Ooh. All right, then. All right. Well, uh, let's get right back into it. We only have uh, time for two questions, so uh, go ahead. So um, how was it working with the actors on this film? They were all very professional. I'd be honored to work with all of them. You know, they're all uh, non-union actors from L.A., but I couldn't ask more from them. They were just absolute a joy to work with. Now, in film school, we hear a lot about the issues involving budgeting and distribution of films. Uh, what advice would you give a post-grad concerned with this issue? There's three main points. Um, one is to shoot in the horror genre, make it marketable. Second one is your film is probably going to suck. Um, just <laughs> accept it. You know, you're still learning and growing. So if you make it in the horror genre, it's okay because most of those films suck anyway. Right. So, and then the third thing is that you're going to be trying to get money from people. If they have money, they're intelligent. They're not going to give you money. You know, you, you know, no one's going to believe you can fly unless you actually do fly. No one's going to believe you can direct movie actually until you actually do it. So you have to do that first before you get the money. So you're going in the wrong order. So those are the three primary uh, lessons. Just charge the card, make the movie yourself, make it in horror, you know, and you'll be okay. All right, well, great, great. Uh, if, if you at home are curious about Carl Lindbergh and his new film, Bunny Man, you can find more info and production pictures at www.myspace.com slash bunnymanfilm. Thanks for watching and make your dreams a reality right here in Orange County. On behalf of the team of students that helped make this interview possible, and the rest of the film students at Orange Coast College, I'd like to thank you for watching. So from OCC Television Studio in Costa Mesa, California, see you next time.